everyone, my name is Sarah Doak. I am a management trainee at Bangor Savings Bank. I went to college at Husson University in Bangor, Maine, and graduated with a financial management degree in 2018. I went to the University of Maine in Orno for college, and I graduated with degrees in business management and marketing. Some of my interests that really helped me pick my degree, as well as my career path now that I've graduated, were first my interest in just business in general. Everything around us has a foot in business to some degree, and just knowing how that works on a day-to-day -day basis is so interesting to me. I never saw myself as a numbers person or somebody super interested in finance, but just understanding how the businesses that we buy products from every day work gave me such a cool insight into how the world around us functions. Growing up, I really loved numbers uh, and money. So uh, I think that's really what led me to uh, pursuing a career in finance, uh, first in college, getting my degree in financial management, and uh, follow that up by going to work at Bangor Savings. The management trainee program at Bangor Savings Bank is a 12 to 15 month program that allows me and my team to go around to each department as a rotation, usually for about a week, uh, to figure out what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as who the real key players are in those departments. It definitely isn't a usual job title that you hear a lot, but despite my slight bias, I think it is one of the coolest jobs out there for recent college graduates. So I work on a team of six people. So it's me and then five other recent college graduates. And we all have varying degrees. There's some of us who have business degrees like I do, some in finance, some in international relations, political science, it's kind of all over the place. But what we get to do is spend about 15 months working at Bangor Savings Bank, getting to learn everything there is to know about the bank. A lot of the times when people think of a bank, you think of what you see when you go to deposit a check or get cash out. And yes, that is a huge part of what we do and a super important part, but there are so many other jobs and departments within the bank. So we get to spend a ton of time learning about all of those, meeting so many awesome people who work in them, and getting to do projects for them along the way that they get to use in their day-to-day -day jobs. So after that 15-month period, we then get to pick a career path that we want to go down towards because at the end of the program, uh, you're kind of fast-tracked into either a retail, which would be a branch job, uh, either an, an assistant branch manager uh, or equivalent type of thing, um, or you can go into commercial credit, which is a great way to gain a foundation uh, of knowledge around commercial lending. We spend this, those 15 months learning everything we can about the bank, but also have really cool opportunities to grow ourselves. We do a lot of training on what our personal strengths are, learning how to really use those in our day-to-day -day life. We improve our emotional intelligence, which is something I had never heard of until starting to work here, but it really helps you if you're going to be in a leadership role, learning how to read other people's emotions, how your emotions affect others, and then improving your interactions with people upon that. And we spend a lot of time just growing as individuals and professionally. It's a really great program, whether you have a significant interest in banking or not, to just get great exposure to so much in the business world. I learned about the management trainee program actually just from scrolling through Bangor Savings career page. Right after college, I was working at a retail store as a manager there and I really wanted to try a different career path. I had worked at the store all through college and was ready to do something different. So I had heard such great things about Bangor Savings in the community, so I had constantly been looking through their career page to see if there's anything that sparked my interest that popped up. And when I saw the management trainee program, I thought it would be a great way for me to really start my career and use the business degree that I went to school for. It was supposed to be an in-person interview, 
with three people who worked at the bank. But because of COVID, we did it over Skype, which kind of helped ease my nerves a little bit because at least I had a camera between me and the interviewer. But it was about an hour to an hour and a half interview where I really just talked about all my personal interests, who I was as a person, what I had done in school that made me a good candidate, and what I really wanted to do to help Bank or Savings Bank continue to prosper. It was a really great conversation and I left feeling very confident about the job. And luckily three weeks later, I got the call letting me know that I had gotten one of the positions. I've actually been with the bank uh, right out of college. So uh, in 2018, so almost three years now. Um, and I've seen the previous management trainees uh, come in and go through the program and the amazing opportunities that it's led to for them. Um, so that's really what pursued my interest in it. Um, you don't have to be internal. I'm the only one on this year's team that's actually, uh, that had previously been with the bank. Um, so it's, it's not just an internal program. There's definitely external uh, candidates that apply and do get the job pretty quickly. So one of my favorite experiences so far is going through teller training and being put in a branch to put some of that training into action. Um, initially I really thought being a teller was more of an easy job where in reality that is definitely not the case. Um, they're the face of the bank, they deal with customers every single day, um, you know, being professional and as well as efficient. Uh, for every transaction really, really get, made me gain a lot of appreciation for, for the tellers, for sure. Something that I've learned about myself professionally since starting at Bangor Savings Bank is that I love to work on teams. I played sports as a kid and even in college, and I never really thought that same team feeling could transpire in the workplace. But now that I will work with a close-knit team of five other people, I've realized it absolutely can. We get to take on these huge projects, sometimes that we feel are way out of our league, and leverage each other's strengths, give each other feedback, hype each other up to create these amazing outcomes. Not only are they my coworkers, but they're some of my greatest friends now too. And it is an awesome feeling and something I hope to continue to work in in the future. So personally for me, when I began my banking career, I thought I always had to be perfect. Um, being a perfectionist is something that I kind of has, have always been. Um, you know, wearing a suit and tie every day, um, trying to answer every question perfectly, which is never gonna happen. Um, so I've learned a lot from my mentors at Bangor Savings Bank to just be myself. Um, it's okay to not always be right and not always be perfect. Um, you will gain an incredible amount of friendships and apprenticeships and, and uh, other relationships from co-workers that are invaluable if you're yourself. So that is definitely one of the biggest things I've learned about myself. My goal for the management trainee program is to learn as much as I can about being a leader and a great coworker. I think we are learning so much about the banking industry and we inevitably are getting set on this career path. But in the meantime, we have such amazing opportunities to grow as individuals and are having exposure to so many learning experiences that most people our age don't get. So my goal is to take advantage as a, of as many of those options as I can and leave the program being as well-rounded, well-connected individual that I can be. So throughout the rest of the program, I'm just really looking to learn as much as possible. Um, on top of that, build as many relationships, hopefully long-lasting relationships that I can um, around the bank. So I always have at least someone I know I can fall back on or ask questions to in the future. Um, I find that very important and that's, that's my goal for the rest of this program. So in five years, I absolutely see myself still with the bank. Um, in 50 years, I still see myself working for Bangor Savings Bank. It's an incredible place to work. 
Um, more specifically, I'm hoping to go down the commercial lending route. So in about five years, I'll probably be through commercial credit, um, either for a portfolio manager or a relationship manager. So hopefully bringing in new relationships to the bank uh, and maintaining those on a day-to-day -day basis. Where do I see myself in five years? This is a question I think I have answered wrong every time I have answered it growing up. But if my plan goes as I hope it does, I hope in five years to be a credit analyst for Bangor Savings Bank, which means I would have taken the commercial credit track that I mentioned earlier. What that means is I get to spend a lot of time analyzing businesses' financials, their backgrounds, the market, things like that, and then getting to help Bangor Savings lend to them so they can achieve their business goals. That is where I really hope to be at the end of this program and then five years. So my advice to any student out there would definitely be um, you know, be confident in yourself. Uh, always be yourself. Don't worry about being perfect. Um, people are going to like you for you and you're going to get promotions for being yourself. You don't have to know every answer. Um, you know, know where to get the answer, but you don't need to know everything. Um, always give, always give your own opinions. Um, you know, talk about what you want uh, for your own future as well as always trying to find a way to do things more efficiently and better for your team. Um, and I think the most important thing I've heard is just always say yes. Uh, if you're asked to do something, say yes, and it's gonna benefit you uh, greatly in the long run. If I could leave you all with a piece of advice, I would tell you the advice that I was given when I started the management trainee program, which is say yes to every opportunity that you are presented with. Whether you think it's way out of your league or you're not sure how you're gonna do it, say yes, put a smile on your face, and honestly fake it till you make it. You, once you learn to be comfortable being slightly uncomfortable, you are gonna open so many doors for yourself. People will look to you for guidance and for inspiration, and you're gonna find so many interests that you didn't even realize you had. It has worked so well for me, and I have bitten off more than I can chew on multiple occasions but always asking for help, admitting when you don't know something, and just being confident has been the best advice I have been given. So always say yes, be positive, and take some chances.